The megafauna is something that's uh, of great interest to me because it's, the animals are spectacular. They're much bigger than a lot of the uh, modern Australian animals. Um, we worked on them quite a bit at the museum and it's an interesting story, the animals that we've lost in modern Australia. So reconstructing as models those big animals is just a, a fun thing to do. I dug this hole in this swamp 30 years ago after producing the bronze plaque of the Riversley scene which I've just shown you. Um, and that plaque basically tells that story of ancient Australia. So I just decided it would be a fun thing to reconstruct and here it is now 30 years later. There's a story behind each of the individual sculptures that are in this swamp that have evolved over a 30 year period, such as the Lord Howe tortoise for example, which was drawn quite some years ago now. The Diprotodon is the largest um, mammal that ever existed on the continent that's sitting over behind the tortoise over there. The story behind the Megalania, the giant goanna, is interesting in that when it was first described, it was estimated to be about eight metres long. We did our sculpture based on an eight metre goanna, which is what this one is. And since then, they've revised it, so now they say they're really only about six metres. So the, the passage of time redefines the actual shape and the size of many of these animals, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, whether there's a change in a perception of an animal, whether it's a T-Rex that used to you know, rest its tail on the ground or whether it's up in the air, it's just part of, part of evolution, I suppose, in itself. One of the reasons I actually built this swamp is that it is actually a re reasonably easy thing to be repeated anywhere in Australia where a council or a school or an interpretive centre may wish to tell the story of ancient Australia and actually reconstructing an area of focal point of natural history that can actually add a bit of magic to any particular landscape.